Hello, my name is Matthew van der Putte. I'm a time-lapse photographer living in London and usually this channel is all about time-lapse travel and tutorials. Today, I'm talking about something else. <laughs> I get a lot of parcels uh, delivered to me, but few parcels get me as excited as today's parcel. Thank you, Boosted, for sending me one of the very first publicly available Boosted revs. I am beyond stoked. Let's unbox this bad boy. Pull to open. Oh, that's easy. in the box we have a uh, power charging cable and then a bunch of this yummy yummy silicate jokes don't eat that Let's see what's in here safety and compliance first rev i assume manual couple stickers charging block oh tires for when you go soft or flat and there you have it that's everything that's in this box including the scooter Quick disclaimer that I have to share with you. Boosted sent me the scooter for free in exchange for some content creation for social media, some, some assets and stuff. I wanted to make this video because it's a product that I'm passionate about and I wanna share my experiences with you guys. But yeah, keep that in mind when you're watching this video. I am biased. I really like Boosted boards. I love all their products. A ton of my friends have their skateboards. I've been on their skateboards a bunch of times. Really enjoy it, love their brand, love the way they operate, love the people, love everything about Boosted. So keep that in mind when you're watching this video. The Boosted Rev is the latest battery powered mobility device by San Francisco based Boosted Boards, the company most known for their orange wheeled electric skateboards. Boosted Boards sent me the Boosted Rev because they know how much I love scooters. I have been on scooters for literally the majority of my life. If you've been following me for a while on Instagram and even when I was still on Snapchat back in the day, you would have seen me cruise around the city of Sydney literally every day on a old school analog leg powered razor scooter. One time my girlfriend Amelia went to a Halloween party dressed up as me, including said scooter. If you knew me back when I was a kid, you would have seen me terrorize our neighborhood with a 22.5 cc two-stroke go-ped, a gift that I got for my first communion from my parents which explains this really weird white robe looking thing. I have ridden e-scooters all over the world and it is by far my favorite mode of transport. The reason I'm telling you all this is because I want to let you know that I know what I'm talking about. Let me get to the point of this video. The Boosted Rev is the best electric scooter that I have ever ridden. Let's quickly go over some of the specs and then let's talk about why I like it so much. The Rev has a 22 mile or 35 kilometer range. It handles inclines up to 25% with ease. I'm like, why do you need an incline that much? But then I realized boosted boards, you know, they're based in San Fran and Hills is all that they have. So I guess it makes sense that they've designed it for their own city. The Rev is powered at the front and at the back with a combined 1500 watts on the wheels. The top speed is 24 miles or 38 kilometers per hour. It's got regenerative braking, which recharges your battery as you brake, just like in Formula One. It is simple to use, has an intuitive LCD display and is weatherproof. It features wide or as someone in the street yelled out at me, fat tires has a front light, a rear light, and a brake light for increased safety. The steering column has a latch mechanism. It folds down so you can carry it, or if you don't want to carry it, you can wheel it around just like this. It comes with a smartphone app to track your rides and give you information about your boosted device. A device like this is more than just specs on paper, so let me try and articulate why I love the boosted rev so much. Reason number one, it feels incredibly safe. The high powered motors mean you can accelerate at the same pace as a motorbike or a car. The sturdiness of the frame and the low center of mass makes it feel like you're driving around on a little tank. People have asked me over the years, you love your scooter so much, why don't you get an electric skateboard? Isn't that faster, cooler, more fun, whatever? And my answer has always been the same. A skateboard just isn't as safe. If I'm driving around with a 20 kilo backpack and I hit a whatever it could be on the street, a rock, a branch, a ditch, a gap, whatever really, you're gonna go flying and you're probably gonna break one or two wrists, maybe an elbow, maybe dislocate your shoulder, who knows. That third point of contact on the scooter makes you feel so much safer than on a skateboard. Nothing against skateboards, but just for me personally, I've always preferred scooters, obviously. The big wheels make debris and potholes in the road much less of an issue. No, it does not have suspension, but I have not found it to be an issue. Also, 
I know from experience that adding suspension to scooters makes them that much heavier and that's not a thing that you want with the rev. The super bright light at the front and the normal rear light and the brake light at the back make me feel much safer when I'm driving around in traffic, even at night. I legitimately feel much safer on this scooter than on any bicycle and I've been riding bicycles for literally my entire life because I grew up in Belgium. When you're in an emergency, you can pretty much jump or walk off this scooter, whereas with a bicycle, there's something in between your legs that you need to get over or get rid of. I just feel safer on the scooter than on a bike. Reason number two why I love the Boosted Rev so much, it is super intuitive to operate. The throttle wheel is linked to, I guess, acceleration and deceleration curves, the way they program the input and the output of the motors linked to the, you know, the little throttle wheel. It feels really good in all three modes. So the scooter has three modes. One is beginner, I think. The second one is normal. And the third one, I don't know what to call it, insanity mode. It's like all, you know, all systems go super fast. It accelerates and brakes super fast. It's definitely the most fun mode to drive around in. It's also the most battery draining mode. That being said, all three modes are a total breeze to get used to. I've had people jump on it for the first time. They did not have any experience on scooters. And they get on and it's just smooth sailing, easy breezy, and they fall in love with it and they want one as well, straight away, and then I tell them to get lost and give me my scooter back. But pretty much what I'm trying to say is it is super intuitive to use. Third reason, it's just really, really fun. And I think you would have gotten that from all the footage and seeing me on social and my Instagram stories. It's the most fun I've had on two wheels, period. Main question I've been getting on social media is the battery and the range of the scooter. I have found that to be great in mode one, I don't touch mode one, it's really, it's just boring and it's for beginners. Mode two is what I would call most fuel efficient mode. Uh, I think that's where you will get most of your range. Mode three is party mode, you are not gonna go far in that mode, it just drains the battery because you're constantly, it's like a race car, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna empty your fuel straight away. If you wanna check out a really good range test, check out Farouk Ifondo's uh, YouTube review. He did a proper test in LA. Spoiler alert, he was extremely happy with the scooter as well. I think it's just a really, really good product. All that positive stuff being said, I feel like there are a few things open for improvement. So here's how I would change the Boosted Rev. I would make it a little bit lighter. The quality of the construction and the material used in the frame and I guess the size of the battery and stuff as well, make it so that it's quite heavy. It weighs 21 kilograms, which is X amount of pounds, and that's just a lot, I'm not gonna lie. It's a beefy, chunky, heavy device. Again, that makes you feel quite safe because it's really sturdy, but it just is really heavy. It's not ideal to lug around the city, which is why I found this way to kind of wheel it around. That being said, I just wish we could shed a couple of kilos. Another way I would improve it is I would drop the price a little bit. I feel like it is quite pricey. Then again, it is like, you know, a Tesla or a Prius. One is a premium product with a premium price and the other is less expensive and also has less features. That being said, it is an expensive scooter. That being said, you get a lot of value for money. I wish there was some sort of lock built in, maybe in the firmware, there's a way that you can only unlock it with the app or I don't know. If you just leave it outside, it's really quite naked. You really literally just push the button, start and you're off with it. I bought a lock that you can attach to the front steering column and there is that metal bar through which you can loop that to lock it to, for example, a bike rack, which is quite good. So that is definitely a must have in my opinion. One last little thing that I would change is maybe the material of the charger flap thingy at the front because I can't seem to get it in there properly. I fear that when you drive through a puddle and water gets in, it might still seep in there. Even though, you know, it's got that weatherproofing, I'd be careful with it. The charger itself obviously goes in quite smoothly, no issues there. But yeah, that little rubber flap I find strange that I can't really seem to get that in there properly. And that's about it, really. Again, me talking about a product that I love dearly, so there's not a lot of negatives. If you want to see what I assume is a less biased version of this video, I highly recommend Farouk from iPhone Do's uh, video. I've linked it down in my blog as well. If you have any questions about the Boosted Rev that I didn't talk about in this video, please drop them below so I can get back to you or maybe use that for a future update video. If you'd like to buy a Boosted Rev for yourself or maybe a Boosted Board or any of the other Boosted products, you can check out my affiliate link down below you help this channel directly by just clicking that link and having a look on there. So thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you guys very soon on the next video. Peace. And here we are again at that end screen. I really have to come up with a better idea of what to put here because I record these things at the end of the shoot when I'm done, when I'm finished reading my script and then I'm just like, oh, I should put something here. But yeah, anyways, buy my eBooks and support me as an independent creator directly. Thanks. Or watch one of my videos.